Welcome back. Today we're going to show you a few new gadgets that you can find at Brewers Direct. These gadgets today are your thermometers, hydrometers, vinometers, and proof and trails. What the differences are and how to use them. We're going to start off with your simplest one, and that's your thermometers. There's a few different thermometers available on the market. You can have your stick-on thermometer, which you just place on your carboy or on your primary, and that will give you a general room temperature, uh, which the liquid will affect it a little bit, and then you have an idea of if the area is good to ferment, or if you need a brew belt or something like that to attach it to. Then you'll have yourself a floating thermometer, a small one, and these ones are, are usually fine if you're making your uh, beer or wine from kits, uh, because they just want to know the general temperature of the liquid to make sure that it's no higher than 80 degrees, and so you'll just drop it in and you'll get an instant reading. And if you are getting into uh, beers where you're going to be boiling some wort and so forth, then you're going to get into a higher caliber of thermometers, uh, ensuring that they can reach above the boiling point and below zero, uh, which will aid you in the accurate readings. It's pretty straightforward, um, but they are a necessity. Now, someone... Uh, uh, ask me what is a venometer and so it is a tool that you use to measure alcohol on a finished product and it is quite accurate and it's pretty straightforward on how you use it the product uh, looks like this um, and basically how you do use it is you'll take your finished product um, usually wine and make sure that it's degassed, that there are no bubbles in it. What you'll do is you pour a sample of your wine on the top here, and there's a faint little line that runs down to the very bottom. And what you'll do is you'll wait till you get three or four drops. Once it starts to drop, you twist it over, Keeping in mind that there's going to be product in here, so over a measuring cup or a bowl, so that it, it, the product discards. And then you just keep an eye on the product inside, be it wine or beer, and it's going to run down. And there's um, a reading from 0 to 25%. And that uh, wine will stop at whatever uh, percentage it's at. So if it's at 8%, um, and it stops there, and then that's what uh, your alcohol content is. It's 8%. If it stops at 15, it's pretty straightforward as a uh, reading, and it is a nice little tool to have just to see uh, what your finished product's at. Our next uh, uh, gadget here is the proof and trail. Uh, this one again is pretty straightforward. This you use um, to measure alcohol if you are distilling um, or have any high alcohol content usually over 20% uh, then this will read it and all you really have to do is have a sample of alcohol put it in give it a little twist and then wherever the liquid crosses is the reading of your uh, alcohol percentage and the next uh, 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 gadget that we have here is the hydrometer. This one here has a little more readings to it. And what you're looking for is specific gravity. Be it uh, wine or beer, they give you a starting reading and a finish reading. And so what this does is basically measures the amount of sugar in your must or wort. Uh, and then it'll give you potential alcohol reading and, the, uh, and then as it ferments sugar is eaten away and so there's less sugar in liquid because it turns into alcohol and CO2 and so this ends up dropping until you get a reading of depending on what you're making wine uh, they're usually color coded so they'll tell you for beer or wine what starts and finishes at. Uh, wine in general 
be it white or red, will start at a thousand, and then you go sixty-five all the way to even a uh, eleven hundred or a thousand one hundred. And beer usually starts at a thousand and forty to a thousand and fifty. Wine and the red and white wine they'll finish between nine hundred and a thousand, and the beer about a thousand and five. Right. How do you read it? Basically, again, you'll take the sample. At the very beginning, when you mix the must, they usually give you an a indicator on your, uh, on your um, uh, instructions where you can mark down specific gravity. All you have to do is, again, I'm just using water here as a sample, but, uh, so that's why it's reading so low. But as, uh, if this was wine, It'd be floating up here, wherever the liquid crosses. Then you take a reading, and it says 1,080. Um, you'll turn over uh, your uh, hydrometer, and then it tells you potential alcohol. So at 1,080, I have 12% potentially, if I ferment it all out. Uh, let's say we fermented our whole batch of wine. Um, or let's say we, we're, we've uh, transferred the wine into our secondary and we're at, uh, we need to get a reading before we transfer of 1,020. Again, you put it in. If it crosses and it's uh, between 1,020 or close enough, then you know you can move on. And then your final step, if I get a reading of 0.990 or 1,000 or in between there, uh, um, that's when you know you're done. Uh, a lot of people, sometimes they call the shop at Brewers Direct and they say, hey, uh, you know, I've done my wine and it's not doing this or that, right? Our first question is, did you take a reading? Because this uh, utensil is a must to have uh, because it'll solve a lot of problems. Uh, because sometimes the instructions that they give you are, are usually guidelines. It's a 30-day kit if the temperature is right. If it's not, then it'll extend the time. Not that it's a problem, but uh, when t uh, you're dealing with different temperatures, if you're not uh, fermenting at the appropriate uh, uh, temperatures, uh, room temperatures that is, um, then that's when this comes in handy because we'll know exactly, okay, you're still at 1,020, um, so don't add your stabilizer. Wait till you've gotten the reading that you're supposed to. So, very important uh, tool to have in your wine and make, uh, beer making uh, arsenal there. And that's it for today. Cheers.